Back out on top, 54-53. Well, the rebound down here on that, the uh, Waters miss really got the crowd into it. All of a sudden, there's some energy in this building. And a foul call. J.P. Batista, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thanks for stopping by. Good luck to you for the rest of the way. And, Thank you. And your wife, Simone, right? Yes. Simone. You guys are married now. Yeah, we're And married. she played here at Gonzaga as yes. well. Yes. J.P. Batista, one of the Gonzaga greats. We've got a one-point game, a dandy to the finish. We'll be back. Greg Heister and Craig Elo and both teams red hot right now. Gonzaga's hit four of their last five and Portland State has hit four of their last six. And Jeremiah Dominguez is the real deal. Reigning Big Sky Player of the Year. He's got 17 points, Craig. Yeah, I mean, they're all right. Uh, just good looking shots. I'm telling you, you got 10 toes to the rim. His shoulders are always square. He don't doesn't force it. And being only five foot six. He's five six. You think he's get a hand up there on him and block the shot right but uh, he's very crafty with getting his shot and, and getting it off and there you see six of nine total but five of seven from beyond the arc for 17 points and right now it's the play of Jeremiah Dominguez that's keeping his Portland State Vikings in this ball game and Thomas misses the free throw Portland State now three of five from the line Thomas the junior out of Stockton well Dominguez is a 43 percent shooter from behind the arc so he's a good one Gonzaga knew that coming in and they also knew that this team would take at least 24 shots they've taken 23 already and we're tied at 54 here's Pargo Dominguez guarding Heitfeld again calling for the ball Thomas though fronting on the post here's the lob Heitfeld Missed the jam, but it'll go to the free throw line. Tell the last trip, couple of trips down, Heitfeldt's wanted the ball. They haven't been able to get it to him. That's a good sign. Yeah, the angles have been bad each time that he's posted up. That time, he wanted the high low to come from Jeremy Pargo, and he worked his man up the lane far enough where the backside help couldn't come over. Jeremy did deliver that. So, yeah, Josh has really got to make his presence down there. I think uh, the closer... You get to the basket, the better opportunities you're going to have it. Uh, you know, those high percentage shots going in for you. So they got to go into Josh a little bit more. Josh, a 70% free throw shooter, upset with himself there. He hits one of two. But in his mind, he left two points out there because he missed the jam. Could have had a chance for a three point play. And Gonzaga. Leads it by a point. That's Dominic Waters, number 11, with it. Dominguez now to Thomas. Mara inside, taken away by Micah Downs. And here's a real uh, opportunity for Gonzaga to separate themselves. Dominguez, the only starter out there on the floor for the Vikings right now. Everybody else on the bench trying to get uh, Coach Boone, Boone trying to buy some time to get his starters some rest. Jump step to the inside and Heitfeld misses the little jump hook. I shouldn't say little. He ended up about 12 feet away from the hoop, it seemed, before he took that shot. Under 10 minutes to play now. Oh, look at the defense converge. Two guys. At Dominguez. 22 and 32 jumped at Dominguez on that a tip or shot uh, fake. And when you're five foot six, you really have to be conscious of your defender's ability to jump and leap and block the Scott the shot and here's a turnover by Portland State. I think Wendell Wright thought that Thomas was going to shoot the ball that time and was actually headed towards the rim to rebound. And Thomas threw it out to nobody. Both teams with 11 turnovers now. Bolden. I tell you what Gonzaga has not been able to do is get many points out of transition in this game. Or you would think with Jeremy Pargo being one of the best post up point guards in the league that you would take Jeremiah Dominguez down and post him up. One, Julius yeah Julius Thomas picks up the personal foul that's number six on Portland State. So one more Gonzaga's in the bonus. Portland State's already there because Gonzaga has seven against them.
Downs tried to go to Heitfeld and a foul called. Well, I think uh, right now they're Gonzaga's trying to take advantage of Heitfeld being out there running that four man shell. That's just four guys on one on the wing, two two guards and another. Josh just follows the ball around whichever way the ball wherever the ball goes and tries to lock and seal. And I think the Gonzaga doing a nice job of getting into that that time trying to get Josh Heitfeld more involved in this game. Well, Heitz, Heitfeld has hit 23 of his last 25 free throws now. Before that last miss, he had 16 in a row. So he may be shooting 70%, but that stroke is coming on. And this is a guy now that's shooting about 50% from behind the arc. He's a good shooter, Craig, at 6'11". Yeah, and he's always been a good free throw shooter. He's very comfortable at the line. He goes there enough to, uh, you know, to fill that comfort comfortability. But I tell you what, right now it's hurting them right now. They can't separate themselves. And yeah. as a team, Gonzaga not shooting the free throws well. Well, 75% basically from 2004 to 2008. And like you said, this is Coach Fee's lowest shooting free throw shooting team. Dominguez into the middle. Out to Mara. And now Nelson with seven on the shot clock. Mara drives. This is Waters with it. The teardrop rattles in. We're tied at 56. And the near steal by Waters. I tell you, Portland State, you can tell they're a champion. They've got real composure on both ends. They took that right down to the shot clock, right to the end of it, and they were able to get the shot. Yeah, and I think we made such a big deal about how long it took them to get here, right? That I think sometimes it's just the coaches that worry about being able to prepare on game day than the players do. Because I don't think it's affect the Vikings at all. Micah Downs now with six. His second three-point shot of the game. Back to a Gonzaga three-point lead. Dominguez. Another. He's six of eight. And we're tied at 59. I don't care what defense you're in. You know where number 10 is at all times on the floor. That time he was on the backside. Extra pass. Standing wide open. There should be someone near Junior Dominguez. Not allowed him to shoot that kind of shot. Four out of the last five baskets by Gonzaga have come from behind the arc. And there you see the last time Portland State defeated Gonzaga in Spokane. You've got to go all the way back to 1974, January, with a 71 63 win. 7.23 to play here. Mark D was probably 11 years old at that time. <laughs> I know I was. Oh, you weren't 11. 61, oh, 13 then. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking more like, I don't know, 20 or 25 <laughs> or something. Let's see what the Zags can do on this possession. Day fires the three. That was off. So Portland State now with the opportunity to regain the lead. We've had 11 ties and eight lead changes in this game. Nelson. That's off. Day with the rebound. Look at Nelson all over. Micah Towns out there. Micah showed a fake shot. Which you want all players to do, but Nelson didn't leave his feet. Fargo, three, front of the rim. Heitfeld tipped it out to Dave. Austin drives off the glass. 61 59. Day now with 12. I think we had that discussion last game against uh, TSU. Why doesn't Heitfeld just grab the basketball if he's got one instead hand of on it out. instead of tipping it out? But that time it looked like a pretty darn good play. It worked there. But again, tipping it out, you're 6'11", and you're tipping it out two feet from the basket. If you can just grab it, you can score from there. Pargo on the floor, so is the ball. Bolden picked it up, got it to Pargo. Great play by Bolden. Pargo, day! Oh, he missed the jam! Dominguez with it for Portland State.
Starting to see the hustle plays now coming out of Gonzaga. I think they're they're starting.